What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, class will be in session on today. I want to talk to you guys about how sneaky Wall Street creep up on you guys, man. And before you know it, you're down and you didn't even see them rob you, okay? With that being said, guys, we got a jam-packed video, so prepare to take notes. Listen, guys, we want to kick it off with this chart right here that shows you how on Tuesday I was teaching about the gap up. And I was talking and teaching you guys about the fact that a lot of times when you have a gap up, okay, gaps like to be filled, all right? And so if you look at the chart, and I'll break this down a little bit more momentarily because I'm going to teach today about the gap down. But if you look at the chart, guys, you can see that on Tuesday, the gap up was eventually filled throughout the day. Today, guys, we had a gap down and it continued down throughout the day. That's called a gap and go. Whenever it doesn't come back and fill the gap, we call that a gap and go, okay? It got down and it kept going down, all right? And so today I need to unpack that for you guys. Let's go ahead and bring out the charts. Okay, guys, class will be starting from the 30 minute chart today. We will be using this for teaching purposes. I want to first spot out for you the gap up that we talked about earlier this week okay that was this range right here all right that was a first gap up that we had the market shot up and then it came all the way back down to close this gap right here okay whenever you see the stock come right back to the price that it opened at that's how you close the gap all right so once that gap was closed that play is done for okay but then the market proceeds to go on and do what it does okay and then on today guys we had right here we had another gap but this is called a gap down this time okay and this gap down it continued to go down throughout the whole day that's called a gap and go when it doesn't come back so when that happens guys unless you're part of the trade from the get-go unless you were already in at the end of the day right here it was hard to kind of see how to get in where to get in especially if you're new or a beginning trader okay and so i'm going to try to teach you guys how to capitalize on things like that throughout this journey okay but when you have a gap down and when you have a gap down that continuously goes down throughout the day guys oftentimes you have to get in where you fit in or you have to make the assumption that you know what i think it's going to keep going down i'm just going to jump in and get what i can out of the play but let's look at some levels that this might return to guys now that this is down check this out okay this 391 23 level may be a level that the spy wants to recapture at some point now that it is sitting down here at 388.98 okay after it gets there guys if you take your eyes up here you see another level of resistance right here at 395.88 and then you have the 200 day sitting here at 396.79 okay so that would be the top of the gap that gets filled if it if it goes right there but then you have this part of the gap to make it a complete gap fill that would need to be closed okay you would need to close this whole level to consider that a successful move okay but with that being said guys listen you will have gap fills you will have moves in the market gap up gap down sometimes guys if you are at a level and the market can't get through an intraday they'll just move the stock to that level or above that level the in, in pre-market or in after hours or with a gap up or gap down move okay and so again guys it's always important to understand the big picture the long game about what's going on all right listen guys if we can make sure that we are shoring up our game by making sure that we are taking full advantage of the things that's going on before you know it you will be able to take and make plays off of these things all right and okay guys let's go ahead and bust this down man the spy ticker symbol spy sitting at 389.53 at the time of this recording guys just think back two days ago this was sitting at 410 411 if you guys seen it and if you guys count pre-market it was sitting at 414 so from 410 down here is already a 20 dollar plus move and this is how quick the market can creep up on you this is what i talk about when i say that while you are sleeping wall street will creep up on you and before you know it had a stock market down 
five ten percent on you like this and so i don't want you guys to fall asleep at the wheel i want you guys to see how their game go this is why when we talk about levels when we talk about resistance levels support levels supply and demand levels you guys need to really take heed that 410 level was a level to not only buy a put at but it was a level of resistance that think about those of you that bought puts at 410 okay and now you're sitting down here twenty dollars later down here at 389 51 okay this is how you make those big thousand percent moves in the market okay anticipating studying being really locked in and on top of that you can use the things we teach every day to make day-to-day -day plays intraday plays by looking at the patterns looking at the developments in the chart the high probability trades that are emerging every single day on your journey okay but sitting here at 389 not 51 that mean we lost our 390 support level the fact that it closed down here okay and so that is huge tomorrow i need you guys with your thinking caps on to see if we recapture 390 because if we don't recapture 390 recapture don't mean just go touch it it means get to it and don't come back below it or at least close above it okay but if it touches it and gets rejected guys that opens the door for 385 next on your journey okay although this was going down it doesn't go down in a straight line so you have to respect the levels okay you play every play level to level because it just keeps you honest it keeps you from over trading it keeps you from being greedy and more importantly it keeps you from overstaying your welcome and then guys i want to take a look very quickly at apple ticker symbol aapl i sent an alert out on this one today because it was under 140 and what does under 140 mean for us around here for my long-term investors especially that is a buy zone in which we dollar cost average or in which we nibble at, okay? And so sitting down at that level, that means it's a chance to kind of scoop up a quality company for the long term at a great price, knowing that it's going to go lower and you're going to have opportunity to build it out even more, but at a lower, greater price on the journey, okay? So Apple down here at 136.44 on a day, it was down nearly 5% on a day. On the week, it's down 4%. On the month, it's down nearly 8%. Guys, these stocks bounce quick, just like they creep up on you when they take it down from 410. And before you look up, you're down here at 388 before you know this if you don't start dca when i tell you these levels you'll be like man apple right back to 152 before you even be able to look up apple will be sitting at 152 and you'll be like dang chris just told us it was in a buy zone guys these things even when we talk about crashes the market crash when you guys are in the market for a long time you will see a bunch of crashes you'll see a bunch of recessions you'll see a bunch of bear markets what you will begin to notice is that when they hit their new low okay when they fall that 20 percent, when they do all those things it's just a flash in a pan it might hit it and then bounce so this is why we set our limit orders we know the levels that we want to really go heavy in or if it's a resistance level we know a level we want to get in our positions established as when it relates to a put or if it's we going long we wait till a stock fall down and then we buy cars knowing that it's going to shoot back up to certain levels okay this is why we play the game in that manner because it just puts you on the right side of the trade it makes the game a lot more efficient for you and a lot less anxiety all right so listen guys these two plays is what i wanted to cover today as well as the gap down lesson on today because we were blessed to have the gap up earlier this week so you guys can see how they go hand in hand you guys can see when one closes and one doesn't close that's called gap and go okay whether that's to the upside or downside some people will call it gap and crap because it just continue to crap down lower but nevertheless guys you now know at some point in time the spy or any stock that does a gap okay they have to come back and try to close that gap so that lets you know in the future whether it's tomorrow next week next month or next year they're going to try their best to fill that gap at some point in time but a really good drop or a really good move is not coming back to fill the gap right away there's going to continue that move in that direction whether to the downside or whether it's to the upside so be mindful of that too Gaps are to be filled, but they don't have to be filled right away. They don't have to be refilled at all. Just know 
that happens and a lot of people like to play and trade the gap feel okay listen guys another day is in the books man i hope this was helpful i hope this added value to you if it did please make sure you like and subscribe and don't forget to join us on the journey guys remember we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey so do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.